You know, for the, for the past few weeks, 10 News contributor Scott Farrell has been bringing you stories about products being made right here in the Bay. In this morning's installment, we visit a company on the cutting edge of medical technology. Since Buck Rogers and his metallic sidekicks first graced the comic books in the late 20s, America has had an obsession with robots. Hollywood's love affair with robots is no secret. There's C-3PO and R2-D2 from Star Wars, RoboCop, and of course those crazy Transformers who are walking the thin line of good and evil. A Bay Area city also has a growing love affair with robots. Located a stone's throw east of I-75 on the outskirts of Sarasota, far away from the glitter of Hollywood, a homegrown company and its team of 220 skilled professionals are busy assembling some of the most sophisticated robots the planet has ever seen. The production floor here at Medi is two part CSI, one part Terminator. But what goes on here is much more serious than what goes on in front of Hollywood's cameras. In the 15 years since its founding, Medi Learning and its robots, referred to as human patient simulators, have revolutionized medical education. So what is a human patient simulator? A mannequin stuffed with technology that has authentic human physiology that simulates the human response to uh, disease and trauma. It bleeds, it cries, shakes and screams. You name it, MediMan and I stand can do it. Before Medi's two signature robots came along, books and live patients were the preferred method for training medical personnel. How big an impact has Medi had on medical education? Today, nearly 90% of all medical schools in America use Medi simulators to train tomorrow's doctors. In fact, MediMan and I stand and the rest of the Medi robotic brood were born out of the University of Florida Medical School, the brainchild of Dr. Joachim Nick Gravenstein, the late founder of US anesthesiology department. For his work, the University of Florida receives royalties on every robot that leaves Medi's production line. Last year, Medi turned out 1,000 human patient simulators at its new 70,000 square foot headquarters in Sarasota. But Bernstein believes that's just the beginning. We're at about $60 million in sales. Uh, we have equipment in 70 countries. I've got employees in seven countries. But we only manufacture here in Sarasota. So we're, we're somewhat unique in the fact that we have a manufacturing plant in Sarasota and it is our global headquarters. Although many men and I stand are all business, in their free time, they too find time to plug into Hollywood. Allow me to introduce Stan. I stand has had a guest starring role on ABC's Grey's Anatomy. And if you happen to visit the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa or in Chicago, you'll run into I Stan. He's currently on display in both museums. For Made in the Bay in Sarasota, Scott Farrell, 10 News. That is so realistic looking. It's almost creepy in a way, but I understand why it has to Can be. Can I that lend way. you a hand? You know what? I haven't touched that thing yet. You, you brought <laughs> this that is up. actually part of I Stand. You know, I stand six foot tall, about 100 pounds. And if you, you know, people. Can I touch that? Sure, you mm -hmm. can. And uh, if you want to buy one for the kids, it's going to cost you about a quarter million dollars. So uh, it's Probably very expensive equipment. No, not, not, uh, but it's really, it's revolutionized, specifically revolutionized anesthesiology because in the old days, they had a practice on patients. Today, they actually use, it breathes, it sensors, it can stop breathing, they can, they can mimic all different types of physiology. So it's really fascinating stuff and it's happening right here. But I, I know, I was surprised to learn that it was right in Sarasota, so you just never know. And I love that you're doing these uh, series of reports because there's so many fascinating things that happen right here in the Bay Area. And they're flying in. The more we do these, the more people, have you heard of this? Have yeah. you heard of that? It's very exciting. It's great, great for the Bay. Yeah, we do make a lot of things here in Tampa. All right, Bay. you'll put that online. And if folks have any I more will. ideas about Made in the Bay, I'm sure you'd like to hear from them. Sure. All right. Thanks, Scott.